While in Mexico, I got to visit two other countries, El Salvador and Guatemala. I took a flight from Cancun to the capital of El Salvador, San Salvador. By the way, if you take a flight about the Yucatan Peninsula, nowadays it looks like a jungle. However, it was not like this in the past. It could rather be imagined as this. Buildings everywhere, painted especially in red. Anyway, the flight from Cancun to San Salvador takes around an hour and a half. I arrived to El Salvador late in the afternoon and took a taxi to La Libertad, a city located on the southwest of El Salvador. During the early 20th century, La Libertad was one of the country's largest ports, but then it was close to international commercial traffic. However, it remains an important fishing port. It was already dark when I arrived to the hotel. In Latin America, you cannot really expect European standards. Yeah, that is a window on a four-star hotel room. Anyway, at least it was possible to hear the waves to the room. After breakfast, we visited several beaches. Nowadays, La Libertad is one of the most famous touristic destinations in the country. There are hotels, restaurants, markets and craft shops. Also, La Libertad is El Salvador's surf capital. It also hosts international surfing championships. As recently as the 1970s, only a few local surfers were here, but then it was discovered by internationally recognized surfers, and we only stayed in El Salvador for one day and then crossed to Guatemala with a car. In Guatemala, we went to one of the most magical destinations in Latin America, the Atitlan Lake. The high altitude lake is surrounded by volcanoes and small colorful towns. It is an amazing place to enjoy the nature. And Lake Atitlan is located in the heart of the Guatemala Highlands, approximately three hours from Guatemala City. And it is the deepest lake in Central America. It's surrounded by mountains and volcanoes and covered with blooming wild flowers. One of the characteristics of Lake Atitlan is that it is a home to different peoples belonging to the Maya culture. There are 12 villages around the lake and most of them do not speak Spanish. Visiting the lake also means immersing yourself in the local culture, observing their traditions, and it is possible to learn about their clothing, their viewing techniques and dyeing fabrics or food preparation. In the gastronomic field, what predominates in terms of diversity of preparations and uses is corn. The Mayas were and are the masters of it. They used to consume it in thousands of different ways, both in solid and liquid form. And in addition to corn, Guatemala is famous for the production of cocoa, chocolate and coffee. 
Guatemala also has a long tradition of weaving. Often families who are involved in carpet making, this is their only means of making money, and traditions are mostly passed on from generation to generation. The wool has to be washed and combed, and then it's put on a spinning wheel, and when you get the fiber, you start dyeing it. Everything is dyed naturally without any chemicals, for example the blue color is obtained from the indigo plant, for yellow a local flower is used, chiote seeds are used for brown and nutshells for earthy colors, and weaving clothes and carpets is a complicated process which can take 3 to 4 months, but the more complex the shape, the more work it requires.